Hi everyone, it's Mark here again and today we've got a 2001 Porsche Boxster S. Really nice car and uh, to tell us a little bit more about the vehicle we have my mate Rowan Robertson. G'day Rowan, how you G'day, doing? G'day Mark and thank you for having me on the channel. It's great to see all these different cars pop up from time to time. Uh, it's a pleasure and also thanks for being a subscriber Rowan and if you're not already a subscriber please make sure you do like comment and subscribe there's plenty of uh, video content on old cars on the channel that's right I'm sure you'll enjoy it so Rowan tell us a little bit more about the uh, this Porsche Boxster S that's right it's a 986 Porsche Boxster it came out um, in uh, very very late 1996 the model it was the model that was going to basically make or break Porsche they had a, a awkward product lineup at that stage with the 924, the 944, the 968, the 928. They were all front engine mounted vehicles but they were completely um, disparate to the traditional rear mounted um, 911 configuration. So this model was really the model that we had to put Porsche back on the map and um, so it came out as a, I guess a um, a tribute if you like or taking some design influence from the old speedster James Dean 356 359 type setup um, it's often referred to as a poor man's um, 911 which I think is really unfortunate so let me talk you through this it's a 986 model it came out initially as a 2.5 it then graduated to a 2.7 and they introduced the um, the larger um, 3.2 which denotes the S model so the S model has got the larger engine the slightly bigger wheels um, and some um, some cosmetic interior um, trim enhancements but essentially a, um, a, a, a 2.5 a 2.7 or the 3.2 are yep. effectively the same car as far as the eyes can see. Okay so I'll just do a quick walk around here just so we get a bit of a view. Of the, I like the black actually it looks I know silver tends to be the probably the most popular colour with the the terracotta sort of interior but I actually quite like the black. I think that looks really good, actually. It has the teardrop front um, headlight um, and lenses, which I personally like. They yeah. are consistent with the um, 911 996. So this is a 986 Boxster. Yep. Same as the 996 um, 911. Um, over time, I think people have um, mellowed in their uh, their opposition to these headlights, but I, I've always liked them. Yeah. Um, the car presents beautifully. As I mentioned, it's a rear, it's a mid-mounted um, air-cooled engine. The weight dis distribution is is really appreciated when you drive it. You feel that sense of traction um, from the rear wheels and how it uh, puts that power down to the road. Yep. Um, I do like the rear design of it um, with the integrated um, um, rear brake light. This is a um, air spoiler that pops up at 100, I think it's 110 kilometres or 120 kilometres an hour. Right. Um, so that automatically um, engages. Yep. Um, You've got the dual exhaust pipes here. I think it's the base model got the single, I'm just trying to think. I, I, I seem to recall. I think you might be right. Yeah, like a single overloid. Yeah, sort of. uh, yeah. yes, you are correct there. Yeah. I think it's a very flattering, um, yeah, but considering Design. this car is 21 years old as it stands right now in 2022, I mean, that's amazing when you look at how clean and pure the design is. It really, it's aged very well, hasn't it? I think it's a great example of where model evolutions um, continue or evolve for the sake of needing to, but really the design from the outset was really the best design. Um, yeah. And as you say, it, it's aged really, really well. Yeah. Cool. One of the flattering design pictures, if you like, is taken from directly above the car. You get, there's plenty of them on the internet. Right. Where you look at the car from um, yeah. overhead. And it, that really sort of explains, its, I guess, the, the beauty in the design. Yeah. I have seen that, particularly from the rear as well. You get that sort of overhead view. I might just quickly grab one of those. Then shall we go for a bit of a spin, Rowan? Why don't we do that? Yeah, so I'll just let me just grab a, a shot there. Yeah, I mean, you can see from that angle there, it's actually a really, really nice looking uh, 
image. It's very flattering. It's very clean too, isn't it? There's no, not a, there's no superfluous uh, adornments or, or you know, uh, elements to it. All right, so let's let's go for a spin. Sure. Believe it or not, I actually uh, was able to get into the car without too much trouble. It is quite low though. I mean, it is a sports car. The other thing I'd say is that German solidity, like, you know, the, the chassis, you know, the body, it's, the, the structure is very, very strong. Uh, there's no shake or anything like that. It's very, um, yeah, just the body rigidity is really, really good. It's got this very, very nimble steering. You you point the car and it goes exactly where you want it. Yeah. You can, you can plant... Like a go-kart a bit. You can plant the, the go-kart um, on cue, but then you've got this incredible power from the rear that just gives you that sense of confidence with the traction that you're not going to um, have torque steer or wheel spin or anything like that. Yeah. Um, Having said that, it is a it is a Porsche. Yeah. And it can bite you. It, it can bite you. The yeah. minute that, uh, and this is, you know, you'll often read that is it a real Porsche? Is it a poor man's 911? I, I don't buy into any of that conversation. It's a little it's bit. It's its like, own car, isn't it's it? It's its own car. Yeah. It's a little bit like buying an Amiga watch. It doesn't matter. How much you spend or how old it is it's always an amiga watch and, yeah. and this is um a very well engineered sports roadster yeah and it's um engine output versus weight is purposely designed yeah and you go right up the next street you get a very engaged driving position it's got what's called the tiptronic um, um automatic gear shifting Yes. So this is the um, the guides here on the steering wheel. It's got an auto, um, a manual selection as well, so you can override the um, automatic transmission to some degree. This car's only got fifty eight thousand kilometres on it, which is very low mileage for a twenty one year old vehicle. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a lovely example. It's it's had a well loved life and it. You know, it's had its servicing done. Um, there is some concern on this model with the IMS bearing. So anyone, What's that? <laughs> if anyone is looking to buy one of these vehicles, um, do enough research online around the IMS bearing. That's that can be an expensive um, repair. Right. This car. This car has not had any. Um, issues. Any, any issues whatsoever, right? But it just depends on the um, the mileage and the condition and how it's been serviced and looked after yeah. and how it's been driven. Yeah, you just go follow this along and go down the big hill and it gives you a bit of a bit of a run. There's a few speed bumps. That's all. You do not. I do notice it's quite low the clearance, so you do need to be careful on things like these speed bumps and. Nice, uh, it's very torquey, the engine. I have driven the, uh, I think it was back in about 2000, the, the Boxster, the standard Boxster, and the S, and um, the S is definitely the car to have, isn't it? It's, it, it really is. Yeah, it's substantially better acceleration, and just feels the right engine for the car, I think. It really is. And you've got that low, particularly if you want to enjoy that Tiptronic transmission, you've got the ability to drop it down in gear, put the foot to the floor. It pushes you back in the seat, and it doesn't it? it pushes you back in the yeah, seat. Just it's diagonally go down to the left there. It, it reminds you. And that's what I was saying about yeah. the uh, validity of a, of a Porsche. Um, it's all weight to power ratio, um, and this car delivers the agility of... of what you would hope a, a road star is all about. Yeah. Um, Look at that beautiful view down there, Rowan. It's lovely. Well, it God's a, country. It is a. Uh, it, it's a Sunday driver's day. Isn't dream. It? It's a Sunday driver's dream. 
You can just follow this straight down the hill. All right. Nice car. Thanks. <laughs> And then one other thing I noticed was uh, when we sort of, you know, put the roof down, it's a fairly straightforward process, electric. Um, the early cars have, you were saying, the plastic rear window, uh, the later ones have the glass, is that right? That's right. This this model has the plastic yeah. rear window. But it has the tonneau that fits on the top of the boot. It's all very flush and it's well packaged, isn't it? As you'd expect. It's, yeah. It's, those, the good folk from Germany have really engineered it. As you'd expect. As you'd expect. Yeah. Um, interestingly, there's a in-between model that, as I said earlier, this is a 986. The 987 came out in 2005. So if you can get your hands on a model year 04, that would be the car if you were looking to sort of buy one of the earlier Boxsters. That would be the pick, the, the, the model pick, the year pinnacle. 04. Right. Because it, it has... Um, quite a lot of um, panel and also interior um, upgrades, upgrades right. which um, are not necessarily um, that obvious until you line both of the cars up right. side by side. Alright, well thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks Rowan. Thanks Mark. It's great to be part of the series. Have a great day. You too.